Okay, everybody, here's a fly I get asked about a lot, and it's a simple little fly. Um, this is a WD-40. This is from Mark Angler. He uh, um, is a guy down uh, around the Durango area and has been for years and years, a real OG kind of guy. Um, I met him several years ago, and he's super cool, and if you ever get a, a chance to uh, uh, spend a day on the water with him or uh, uh, even just talking to him, take advantage of that. He, uh, he knows more than... Uh, than the rest of us has, have uh, even even gotten a chance to think about. Uh, he's a he's a, the real deal. Um, but this fly is uh, called a WD-40, and it's a little beta submerger. It could also be a uh, a midge, and it's a just gosh just the epitome of a guide fly. Um, simple little fly, um, very easy to tie. But there's a few little tricks to it, just like everything. Um, so we're going to start with some six aught Danville, and this is in the color that I've always called tobacco. It's kind of a greenish brown. So this is six aught Danville, and of course you can tie these in different colors. Um, there's a wine colored version, gray colored version. The original was this this sort of tobacco color. And so I'm going to start this thread, oh, a couple eye lengths back from the hook eye. I'm going to make a thread base back down. Uh, this is a TMCO 2487, um, and I'm tying a size 18 today. So uh, I'm going to come about halfway down the bend. And now the tail and the wing case are mallard flank dyed, dyed wood duck gold. Um, so that's this sort of gold color. Um, and what you want is is fibers that are fairly long. You know, this is not a real long little fly, but a little bit longer fiber will make it a little easier to to, to maneuver and uh, work with. Um, so what I want to do here is you, I want to look at the tips. I've kind of pulled out a clump here. Um, that's more than enough. Uh, but you can see the tips are a little ragged, um, and that's not atypical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this clump off the stem. So I'm going to grab the stem and just pull it away. And I'll kind of bundle this up in a nice, neat little bunch for the tail. And you can see how those are fairly uneven. Um, one thing I've done, um, I've done this on scuds for years, but um, you can see how wispy those very tips are. Um, they tend to break off. I mean, even if you get them attached to the fly, uh, they'll break off when you're fishing them. So what I'm going to do is just take my thumbnail and break that end off like so. So see how they're a little more squared up? Um, they're not square cut like the scissors, um, but they're a little more squared up than they were. And I'm going to measure that about a half a shank long. Um, thumbnailing them like that uh, sort of breaks them off at random lengths and still leaves you a nice clean looking little tail there. And I'm going to tie that in right at the bend and then I'm going to wrap the thread forward over the butt ends up to about an eye length behind the hook eye. And we want to keep this fly pretty skinny. Um, this is an 18 so I'm going to go one more layer back, you know, two thirds of the way or so and just build a little bit of a taper there. Um, so you can see not much of a taper, just a little bit. Um, now I'll pull these butt ends back and I'll overlap over them and that's going to become, those butt ends are going to become our wing case. So now I'm going to take a little bit of uh, gray muskrat or beaver dubbing and I'm going to build a prominent thorax. It's one of the, the uh, distinct things about a WD-40. It's got a fairly ball-shaped thorax. Um, so it's going to take a little more dubbing than you think. And because we've got that lump there, and you can see we've got the step down here behind the hook, I'm going to jump up up here and start this just behind the eye of the hook, wrap right up to the base of the wing case, and then I can kind of work back and forth and build this ball shape. And as I run out, I'll end up with bare thread just behind the hook eye. So just a nice round thorax. Then I'm going to pull that wing case forward. Tie it down with a couple turns. And one thing I always do to these, it's hard to trim these off um, cleanly without leaving those little stubs sticking over the hook eye. So I've always folded these back and just make a few turns till you catch them with your thread head. And then you can whip finish right in there and trim that thread out and trim those little stubs off short. Um, that makes a little cleaner thread head. One little tiny little piece of fuzz in there. Now you can obviously come in and put a little shot of head cement in there. Just here behind the eye. Try not to get it in the eye. If you do, here, I'll take this opportunity to show you this, this trick. Um, somewhere on your desk, you've got a random feather. I'm going to take and strip the end off. I got some in the hook eye there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, you got to just trust me, it's in the hook eye. I'm going to take this little stub of feather and push it down through the eye, if I can 
get lined up here. And I don't need to push it all the way through, just push it through and clean that out. And then we've got that cleaned up. And that is Mark Angler's uh, WD-40. Um, like I say, cool little flag, different colors, um, very simple. Um, crosses for a midge, mayfly. Um, you can you can fold those legs back and make them in, or those stubs back and make them into legs if you are so inclined. But um, this version, as it sits, um, as plain and simple as it is, has been a, a really good fly for a really long time. Um, and uh, you know, like a bar merger, I think the reason this fly still works so well is because it's so simple. It's not flashy. It's not uh, got nothing shiny, nothing crazy about it. Um, just a simple little fly, pretty drab, looks like a bug, uh, which is what we're all after. Uh, so there's an easy one for you. Twist some of those up, put them in your box. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you just talk to Mark Angley, tell, tell him I said hi. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys take care.